Harry Potter and the AI Adventure. Chapter 2. Harry and Ginny finished sleeping with each other in Ron's bed. That was amazing. Ginny complimented, Yeah, I know you were screaming your head off, joked Harry as he leaned in and made out with Ginny some more. Ron woke up, having a terrible headache. He closed his eyes again and listened for sounds from the boys in the living room, hoping he hadn't woken them up. When he heard nothing, he forced himself to his feet and staggered to the bathroom, running some water in a sink. He splashed some water on his face. He could still hear Harry and his sister making love very loudly. He was getting annoyed. He rinsed off the drool that had dripped down from his chin before heading over to the bedroom door and opening it gently. Hey, guys, I've got a pee. Any chance of some privacy? Ginny was lying on Harry's chest, kissing him and whispering sweet nothings. No, she answered bluntly. Harry and Ginny both laughed. Okay, well, I'm coming back in a few minutes then. See ya. With that, he left the bedroom. Ron stumbled into their bedroom. He fell asleep immediately after collapsing on their beds. He's been up all night looking for Ginny, hasn't he? Ginny whispered to Harry. Yep, Harry responded, smirking. Didn't anyone tell him about this? Ginny asked. Nah. I haven't told anyone yet either. I thought I'd surprise him tomorrow, or maybe the day after. They both giggled quietly, as they remembered the last time that Harry had told someone about their relationship. I really like you, Ginny, and I can see how happy you make him. Just don't forget he'll freak out when we tell your brother about it, Harry said kissing her once more, making her giggle again. Ron entered the room silently, still rubbing sleep from his eyes. Can you guys keep it down? He grumbled. It's too early for this shit. Ron's cranky because of his hangover. Ginny teased. Ron grinned sheepishly. Harry kissed Ginny on the lips. Go back to sleep. We'll wake you later. Ginny reached out and pulled the covers up around her. They lay silent for a while, until Ron's snores began drifting through the air. Harry pulled the blankets over Ron, and then lay down beside Ginny. He reached up, stroking her hair lightly. Ginny, he asked softly. He could tell that she was already awake by the sound of her breathing. Do you think it'll ever go away? I don't know. Ron is just overprotective, that's all, and he's not going to like it when we announce our new arrival. Ginny whispered, stroking her stomach. Yeah. Harry said nervously, he might be happy to be an uncle. He continued, smiling, but I'm afraid that being related by marriage is not a good sign. What does he even want to marry her for? She's pretty, smart, nice. Ginny began, she's really great. I think he wants to have kids. She paused, thinking about it more. If this doesn't work out, he could end up marrying some girl who isn't perfect. And you know, it could break his heart, she added sadly. Hermione's good for Ron, Harry said reassuringly, stroking Ginny's belly. And if she's not, well, he has two best friends who are here. I am pretty sure one of them could be his dad. Ginny smiled. You mean Neville? He's pretty awesome. Maybe you should talk to him about it. He's not been the same since our mother told him he was adopted, Ginny added sadly, remembering what happened after that. Maybe I will? Harry mused as he rested his hand against Ginny's abdomen. I think he needs support. Plus, it wouldn't hurt him to learn to open up a bit more than usual. Maybe that'll help him move past his past. Ginny yawned, stretching across Harry's body, covering herself with the sheets. Harry looked at her affectionately. She looked so peaceful. Her red hair spread out around her head like a halo. Her cheeks flushed, and her lips curved upward into a smile. He felt the desire to kiss her, but decided to wait a little longer. As much as he liked spending time with Ginny when they had free time, they didn't spend all their time together. Besides, he knew he didn't need to rush things. She didn't seem to mind. He noticed her eyes occasionally closing whenever he got near her, which happened quite frequently lately. He knew she loved to cuddle, and he was determined to make her realize that as often as possible. The next morning Harry awoke with Ginny clinging tightly to his side, her nose pressed against his neck. She smelled like lavender, her hair tickling his shoulder and her warmth engulfing him in its embrace. He sighed contently, enjoying the feeling of being wrapped up in Ginny's arms like that. They slept together almost every night since arriving in London. It was something they had started doing soon after they had gotten together. Ginny enjoyed the closeness. She found it comforting and safe, the opposite of Ron's awkwardness around touching people. Ron was a tactile person by nature, and though he did feel somewhat nervous around most other people, Ginny made it easy for Harry. They were perfectly compatible. Harry wondered how the others would react to seeing him and Ginny together, and about the baby on the way. The twins and Luna would undoubtedly tease him relentlessly for being stupid enough to think Ginny was ready to have a child, 
and would probably ask Harry if he had sex yet. Harry would never admit that to any of them, and he knew Ginny wouldn't want to either. Ginny didn't enjoy telling people about her sexual life, but now that she was pregnant, it would be too obvious. She didn't think Harry would want to hide it anymore. After all, all there were three men in the world. Him, Fred, George, and Lee Jordan, the third man in the Weasley family. So, the question was how would Ginny react when the word spread among the students? Would she feel guilty, embarrassed and ashamed of him? Or would she be excited? She had wanted to get pregnant ever since the first time they had kissed in Hogwarts. But she had never acted upon those feelings, even though she had confessed that she thought about having babies with Harry. More than once she always managed to stop herself. That was because she was scared, scared of losing Harry, terrified that they would end up getting married and having children together and then have to start a new life away from home, away from their friends. Now pregnant with Harry's child, she pondered what the future will hold. Harry and her were going to have another kid someday, and she hoped he'd treat him better than he treated her and James. He wasn't that bad. Harry's thoughts were interrupted by soft kisses and small caresses being planted on his bare skin, everywhere he could reach. Good morning, Ginny said, kissing his cheek, and placing a kiss on his lips as she stood up, stretching her legs and arms. I think I'm going to pop into the loo real quick before breakfast. You want anything? She questioned. No, I'm good, babe. Thanks, Harry muttered. Ginny gave him a wink and then exited their shared bedroom, heading for the stairs. A moment later, Harry heard her footsteps heading downstairs. He sat up in bed and watched her walk toward the bathroom, a big grin plastered across his face. Ginny smiled shyly at him before closing the door behind her. She took a few minutes to wash up, brush her teeth, do her hair and put on her favourite clothes, blue jeans, white t-shirt, black leather jacket, her boots and black leather belt. She walked back into her room carrying a large bouquet of flowers, which she had bought on her way home. Oh, thanks, Ron said, waking up and wandering over and snatching the flowers from his sister. They're not for you, snapped Ginny, find Ron's actions to be incredibly rude. But Ron wasn't having any of this instead. He noticed the large baby bump on Ginny. Ginny, you're pregnant, Ron ejaculated.